Hey everyone, this is Remnace from 4 Theories. The first of these little mini compilation videos actually turned out surprisingly well and received quite a lot of positive feedback from you guys. So I'm going to be doing more of these from now on. So let's kick off with this episode. Could the Lost Primarchs have been female? To put it bluntly, no. This is supported by the Horus Heresy novel Descent of Angels, which, near the beginning of the novel, taking place shortly after Lionel Johnson's rediscovery by the Emperor of Mankind, states unequivocally that Lionel Johnson has 19 brothers. If it was 19 siblings or is of 20 children of the Emperor, then you could argue the point, but no, all the Primarchs were male. Can Orcs come in different colours? The determining factor in an Orcoid's skin colour comes from the symbiotic algae that live within the creature's bloodstream. Algae itself can come in different colours, the most prominent being red and green. The red coloration is actually seen quite commonly within squigs, which are a form of orcoid life, although squigs have been noted to come in other colours as well, such as blue and yellow. So while green orcs are by no doubt the most common, there is no reason against the possibility for orcs to grow up with a different coloured algal strain within their bloodstream, either due to mutation, adaptation to a certain world's ecology, or simply due to natural genetic variation. Is Cypher actually Luther? No. Luther is locked within a stasis cell within the Rock, the Dark Angel's fortress monastery and flagship. He is regularly interrogated by the chaplains of the chapter, demanding him to repent, but all that Luther says is that the Lion will one day forgive him over and over and over, and considering he is kept under lock and key, there is next to no possibility for Cypher to be Luther. Do the Eldar utilise Bionics? Yes, Eldar will utilise Bionics to replace lost limbs, although compared to the crude mechanical augmentations of humans or orcs, Eldar Bionics are almost indistinguishable from a non-Bionic limb. This Bionic is also made from Wraithbone, which acts as a psychic conductor, and as such, thanks to the Eldar's own psychic nature, allow them to use the said limb effortlessly and, in addition, will grow and heal over time like an organic limb. However, Dark Elder will actually undergo surgery to regrow lost or damaged limbs, as opposed to using Bionics in the most part, although the Bionics they may utilise themselves may integrate additional weaponry such as needle-like blades. Can the Emperor be interred into a Dreadnought? In short, you could try, but you will fail. Dreadnoughts are piloted by those Astartes or Custodes who have become mortally wounded in battle, and in turn, these machines act as a life support mechanism. However, the Emperor himself would not be able to be interred into a Dreadnought for a few reasons. The first reason being that the Golden Throne itself is his current life support system. If he were to be disconnected from it, then his body would most likely expire before he could be connected and installed into a Dreadnought sarcophagus. The second reason is that the Emperor himself is preventing a warp tear from opening up upon Terra itself, using the Golden Throne to amplify his power as he does so. If the Emperor was removed from the Golden Throne, then this tear would grow exponentially to the point of enveloping the entire Soul system, creating a new Eye of Terror. The third reason is that his internment into a Dreadnought would mean that the Emperor could be killed should he leave the Imperial Palace, which would render his internment into a Dreadnought relatively pointless. <laughs> 